Hello everybody, my name is Azure Simulation and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today in this video uh, is going to be an updated tutorial on how to optimize your Roblox Studio and optimize your game to reduce lag and anything else that could, any viruses that could um, affect your game's performance or your studio's performance. So before we get into before we get into the actual Roblox Studio process in uh, optimizing or reducing lag, all of that, I want to show you a quick uh, a quick way to uh, reduce viruses in your game, uh, backdoors and all of that, and it is by... So if you haven't got a script in your game, uh, which you will because this is inside a script, then just insert a script anywhere. Uh, you don't need this. Go into find, find all, and then you want to type in get fenv. Click enter, and then if get fenv is in there, it will come up. Uh, there will be get fenv. Uh, it will be like this. So get fenv, get fenv like that, like that, and then a load of random letters and numbers, and then it will call a module as well. You need to delete these scripts if they're if they've got like all these numbers. Get fenv is um, can be used in certain cases for. Uh, let Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, object browser. I think it's in object browser. Uh, it doesn't matter. But get fev is used in a lot of games to for modules, scripts, and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't actually know what it is, what the prime uh, use for it is. And to be honest, I don't really care. But uh, just make sure that that is not in your game. So now let's get on to the full studio tour of how to reduce game lag. So when you're in studio, you'll have the You'll have the Explorer tab. If you don't, then go up to View, and then just click Properties, Explorer, Explorer, uh, Explorer Properties, and then go into Workspace, and you'll have these settings here. Filtering enabled has to be on, and uh, Archivable has to be on. Uh, streaming enabled and allow third-party sales can be off if you if you wish. Terrain. Now, this here is where you can change all your terrain and stuff. So, uh, reducing wave speed, water wave size, uh, and reflectance can reduce a lag because it's taking performance off of your uh, your cache and your computer. And also, decorations. If you turn decorations off, it can uh, reduce a lag in your game and up the performance, up the FPS in your game. Next, um, this is the uh, this is what have they have changed in studio. So before, it would be in game settings, and then you would have to change some settings there. Now it is file, studio settings, and this brings up your studio settings. So in here, there isn't very much you can change. Um, I think that you can, to activate this here at the bottom of your screen, you'll want to go and it's so you can see the output of your um, of your computer, see how much FPS you've got in game and stuff like that. You'll go, want to go into studio, advanced and then show diagnostic bar, which you can see when I disactivate it, it fully does disactivate it. I'm sorry if I'm clicking onto OBS sometimes, it's just to see if it is running. But now let's go down to diagnostics. In here, you don't really want to mess with anything. Physics. Uh, the amount of displays you have on, so uh, if anchors are shown and stuff like that. The if you have the most, you the more you have ticked, the more lag you'll get because it will show more stuff in studio. This allow sleep is just to allow sleep in your. It's just to allow studio to sleep and save save performance on your computer. Network, uh, nothing really in there. Now this is what really would affect your computer. So quality level, edit quality level, and uh, eager bulk execution. So just leave e uh, eager bulk execution off and change these two tabs up here so quality level is what well, is um, it will affect when you click play up here it will affect the quality level in game 
edit quality level is what will affect in studio when you're just um, when you're just viewing studio like this okay when you're building so you place a block and, and stuff I, I think you get it so yeah the lower you put the setting the better the, the less lag you will have in in game next mesh detail level um this is the detail this is like this quality level here except it will be for mesh so the lower you turn it down the uh the less leg you will receive if you have mesh in your game just leave all of these all of these off here now direct 3d 11 uh depending on your pc or your laptop uh, the faster your laptop is, the higher you can go. So, for example, because I've got a pretty fast computer, I've turned mine up to Direct 3D 11. But if you have a really bad PC, then you'll want to turn it on to no graphics. Or just mess around with these. And, uh, yeah, Direct 3D 9 is good for bad computers as well. Frame Rate Manager is just so that it, it, uh, to, it regulates your frame rate to keep a... a um, a good amount of frame rate, a consistent amount of frame rate. Tash scheduler, nothing really in here is uh, will bother you. So, if you if you really are lagging, because I know that uh, auto saving can lag your computer, you're gonna want to either turn your auto recovery off by going in studio, auto recovery, and turning this off. Or turn the minutes down. I like to have mine down to two because I just find that that goes well with me. But you can have it to five if you want. I think the default is five. I'm actually going to turn it to five because I'm currently working on a map that is very, very, very laggy. And uh, yeah, well, laggy in studio, that is. And auto recovery comes in handy when you crash and stuff like that. So. So, yeah. That is really it for studio. Uh, anything else that can change your lag is by reducing the amount of mesh that you have in your game. Uh, less mesh equals less triangles, which will also decrease the amount of lag or the amount of rendering that, that your game has to do to render those parts or the mesh parts. Blocks don't really affect game performance. Uh, only thing that will affect game performance in blocks is scripts that will lag the game. Scripts can affect your performance. The more amount of scripts you have in your game, the more lag you will receive. Yeah. Also, the amount of unions you have in your game. So people think that by unioning... Uh, so, for example, if I have this block here, I duplicate it. I put it up like this. If I union this, then people think, well, this makes one block, then it's going to be less laggy. That is false. The thing that Studio does is that it has to render the, the, uh, the collisions. So collision groups here. A union, the collision group, doesn't do this. It doesn't go straight down and it doesn't follow the block edges. It follows the blue outlining of the block here. This is the collision group. The collision group is not these two blocks here. The collision group is the whole thing all around. So that can also cause a lag because the game will want to render, will try its best to render the block as two different blocks here. But sometimes the rendering time can cause lag and can affect your game performance. The amount of GYs as well that you can have in your game can affect lag, uh, can affect your game performance and stuff like that. So yeah, T to be honest, this was just a tiny little tutorial, updated tutorial, a quick one, on how to reduce uh, lag in your game. I also have a little word to say what to do with my inactivity on YouTube. My activity has not affected my Discord activity. I've ho always been active on Discord and everything like that on Twitter, on, uh, on Instagram, Snapchat, everything like that. I've been active on there. Only reason I haven't uploaded very much is because I'm currently working on a game called Wickingham, and that takes up 
all my time also v2 of vancouver all of that that takes up a lot of my time so yeah i'm sorry for my inactivity i'll try post more in the holidays because uh, i'm not i'm not going to be going away due to covid so yeah i hope all of you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you i hope it helps reduce lag in your game uh, if you did enjoy then please uh please like the video if you uh, if it helps you and comment what you would like to see in the next video because I really need suggestions. I'm losing video ideas, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.